Jeffrey Tubin resurfaced. He went on with our pal Dan Abrams over on News Nation. And yes, they went there. Here's a bit. What's life been like for Jeffrey Tubin? Well, <laughs> let's talk about the, the incident itself. Yeah. It, was, it was a disaster in my life. Self-inflicted, self-destructive, and something that I will regret for the rest of my life. And what exactly happened? Was it just, you just left open the screen? I, you know, I'd rather not go into the, the, the grisly details. The only thing I'll say about it is I didn't know other people were, were on the Zoom call, were watching. I mean, this was not an intentional act on my part. I was very fortunate that CNN brought me back. And I worked at CNN for over a year after um, being, being brought back. Did they fire you then? No, 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 I was not fired by CNN. No, no I, that was a mutual decision. In fairness, I should point out that it's, it was a new management um, that, that was less fond of me than the old management, so I can't say they were brokenhearted to see me go. If I could you know, rewrite history or go back in time, of course I would not um, want to have brought this on myself and, more importantly, on my family. As we used to say in school, uh, this is on my permanent record. Oh, my God. Self-inflicted. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> that Chiron was awesome. It was like Jeffrey Tubin on being the butt of jokes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I what I can't get about this, Megan, is it, aren't there other people out there that can do legal commentary? <laughs> like, why is it that the entire news media is so desperate to rehab this man's career? Like, does he have <laughs> some knowledge nobody else has about the legal system? I feel like there's a lot of lawyers in America. It's so true. <laughs> Might want to hear Kim Kardashian's take on it before I listen to Jeffrey Tubin's. <laughs> She's, it's so funny because like, nothing to see here. Ha ha ha, all is normal. You know, I did something. It's been a couple years now. The, he's really kind of brushing by the grisly details because he whipped out his unit on a Zoom call with all of his colleagues at the New Yorker magazine while they were doing election coverage prep and jerked off in front of the eyes of all the women and men with whom he worked. And now he wants to pretend like, well, I didn't know they were watching. What man who, who clearly hasn't logged off right, 25 times and closed the laptop would ever think about taking out his penis and jerking off? I'm sorry, there's something wrong. It's not a small detail. <laughs> I, I, I mean, really, what can be said? Honestly... <laughs> He's, he, he's written. He, he's written multiple books. He's been like for on TV for decades. Did he not save enough money that he can be like, man, I'm going to crawl under a rock and never be seen in public again? I mean, I, I have no idea why he wants to want to be on TV. Again. I just got to say, like, like we're news junkies and we love politics. I've worked a lot of elections. I've gone through a lot of election night, you know, um, coverage. I've never been aroused by it. And I do this professionally. <laughs> I have no idea what it would cause. The, I mean, to be lubing with Tubin, talking about you know what you're going to be doing on election night. It's just insane. It's not like a turn Dan, on. I like Dan Abrams' question. Like the foul was, would you just leave your screen on, or what would happen there? Like, like, it's like, you know, common thing. You just, just got to turn your screen off. You know, who exactly in the Zoom were you looking at when you were <laughs> massaging your unit? Ew. It's, I, mean, I mean, I'm just, just saying, like, it doesn't, you know, I would suggest for the record that this is a more common thing to do for men than it is for women. I'm not saying women don't do, go there, but I'm going to guess that virtually every man out there who's chosen to go this route on any given day would make super sure that there's not an electronic device open and on nearby, especially when you are just on a Zoom with all of your colleagues at the New Yorker. Like, wouldn't that be a triple check kind of situation? I just, I, I want to know, like, what is his home life situation where he feels <laughs> like the best time to squeeze this in is during the Zoom with your employer? <laughs> like, it's like, it like do like you an live in a panopticon time. where you're monitored at all times? Like, just, like, I don't get it. <laughs> I always wanted to grow my own vegetable garden. Now I have a Lomi and it's changed the way I think about food waste. Lomi transforms my garbage into gold at the push of a button. Lomi's a countertop electric composter that turns food scraps into dirt in under four hours. Now I love composting. I didn't used to think I could do it. Plus it's made cooking at home fun for me and the whole family. There's no food sitting there stinking up my garbage or my kitchen. 
And thanks to Lomi, I have to take the trash out far fewer times each week. You can turn your waste into nutrient-rich dirt, too, that you can feed to your plants or your lawn or your garden. All your food scraps, plant clippings, even those leftovers can go right into your garden, helping grow more nutritious food right in your backyard. See the circle of life. You see it, right? Whether you want to start making a positive environmental impact or just grow a beautiful garden, Lomi's perfect for you. It's fun. Head to Lomi.com slash MK. Use the promo code MK to get 50 bucks off your Lomi. That's $50 off when you head to Lomi.com slash MK. Use that promo code MK at checkout. Thank you very much, Lomi, for sponsoring this episode. Don't forget, folks, turn your food waste into dirt with the press of a button with Lomi. Use the code MK to save 50 bucks. Lomi.com slash MK. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.